have a girlfriend who chose somebody, but she didn't know why, but he had one eyebrow like Tom Cruise. <laughs> and then years later, she got really pissed off at him because, she, you know, he obviously wasn't Tom Cruise. Do you know, but she based it on the eyebrow. Yeah, yeah. You know, when you're choosing a partner, what, 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 do you, what are you basing it on? Because, you know, it's like eating food. It's kind of, it's nice then, but 20 years later, it's gone off. I think this is one of those, those subjects where if people have an understanding of biology, if you know that the reason that that initial obsessive Romeo and Juliet thing, the, the reason that's changing is biological, then you don't think the reason that's changing is because yeah. they're not interesting anymore, they're not the person I thought they yeah, were, yeah, they're yeah. not Tom Cruise. You just say, I got no adrenaline, sweetheart, it's nothing personal. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna say that, <laughs> I'm gonna say that. Uh, when was the last time you had sex? 25 years ago. Okay, I think that, that about covers that one. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to have a successful relationship, you've got to be in control of your own mind because if you're blaming the other person yeah, for yeah. your problems, you if you're wanting them to make you happy, the thing is doomed from the start. But if you know how to make yourself happy and then you share that with somebody, then you can have a decent relationship.